Everybody has a camera these days, whether it's a mobile phone or a DSLR. Social media has made taking photos part of everyday life. However, does that make you a photographer? I will be talking to young photographers who are serious about photography and asking what drives them. Is the aim to become a professional or just to satisfy their creativity? My name is Josh Morton. I have a deep passion for photography too. Taking photos is a way of life for me. Join me as I meet the photographers. I am on my way to speak to one of the photographers. His name is Cole Corbell. He is passionate about his work and loves taking photos. I took it as a subject in school. Right, I thought I'd be an easy one, but I actually got quite interested in it. Uh, Probably my photography teacher, like he just encouraged me to get into it. Like gave me quite a bit of opportunities and things. It's just like another form of art to appreciate, like music or performance or poetry or literature or painting, so it's just there to be enjoyed. Uh, it's like you don't have to really be good at art to be good at photography, like anyone can take a photograph, whether it's like a family photo or like part of a news article or even like an artistic piece. Have you been in any photography competition? Uh, yeah, I was in the uh, 2014 Guernsey Photography Festival competition. Uh, they, put, like, they gave us three categories, uh, family, faith and community. And we had to like, take our photographs based on any of those. And then I ended up winning it. I make my way to Highlands College to meet a young photographer who has good experience with photography competition. Um, my name is Poppy Thompson, my date of birth is the 18th of January 1999 and I was born in Manchester. One Christmas my parents bought me a Fujifilm camera which is quite a basic camera to use for a beginner and I just used it all the time when I went out and just took photos when I wanted to. Photography is a way that I can express myself, um, so if I'm feeling upset or if I need to let my emotions out somehow I will take a photo and that will Instead of me like punching a wall or like you know taking out on someone, I'll take a photo. I have been in a few um, few photography competitions. I was in the Jersey Heritage one a few years ago, which I, um, I won the category that I entered in. I had to take a picture of heritage that related to that related to Jersey, and I was in a Lamont one, which I came second in. Later on in that day, I met up with Cuba Mihalak to discuss his views on photography. My name is Cuba. I was born in Poland uh, back in 99. Um, I got into photography probably because of my uncle. Um, he was always going around taking photos and it kind of just like intrigued me. What's it like? What, how it feels? What he gains from it? So I got my first camera. It was a terrible little uh, Jessops film camera. Uh, had fun with that. Then once I got my first camera phone, I used that. And then on my 14th birthday, I think, I got a pretty decent Panasonic. And I continued from that. When I take photographs, I only take them if like, something about them seems slightly different. Like, I may have seen it before, but in this case, it still gives me an emotional response. Like, I refuse to take photographs of most Jersey landscapes because I see them every day. To me, photography is, it's like art or music, it, you get something and you can manipulate it to make it reflect how you feel or what you thought at the moment and you can just show it to anyone and most people will, be, will understand what you mean by it. Photography means to me, it's, it's very special to me, it means a lot. Like, it's a way that I can express myself, where I can express my feelings. It's a way of expressing yourself, it's a way of telling a story. It's everywhere you look, everyone takes photographs, no matter if it's a camera or a mobile phone. My favourite style of photography, I don't really have one. I like all kinds of photography, it doesn't matter to me. As long as it's appealing to me, I like it, it tells a story, 